Hi guys, my name is Dan, I'm a veterinarian, and today, polydactyl kitty cats. Cats that have extra toes. This can happen on the front, it can happen on the back. Sometimes we call it pre or post axial, which means that they have extra toes between toes, or they have extra toes that just pop up after the thumb. Polydactyl kitty cats are considered good luck. They started showing up really early, mostly when Br the British were sending out ships and exploring the world. We were seeing a lot of these polydactyl cats on these ships. And because, guys, it's an autosomal dominant trait, when you have these collection of cats on these ships exploring different worlds, they would then get all these cats that became polydactyl on these ships, and that's how we grew our polydactyl populations. Polydactyl cats actually, guys, you can have the extra toes on the front or on the back. And polydactyl kitty cats, these extra toes can actually be kind of opposable sometimes. So some polydactyl cats are actually really good at reaching out and grabbing stuff or making really good biscuits. The most common kitties to be polydactyl, of course, are being coons. Polydactyl cats do very well, and it is something that most people, some people do look for because of how unique it is and how well the polydactyl cat does. One thing to remember guys, polydactyl kitty cats do have a lot of claws. Also, some polydactyls can get claws growing between the polydactyl digits. So be very careful and mindful of where the claws are and how often they're trimmed and making sure there's no hidden claws between the extra toes. I have seen some polydactyls guys where they come in and they're limping and I pull the toes apart and there's like a hidden claw just sitting there that we need to be cut or need to be removed because it hurts so much. Hi right, guys, if you have a polydactyl kitty cat, please tell me how many extra toes they have. As well guys, if you'd be so kind, if this information was helpful, please go ahead and share and also subscribe, that'd be super. We do believe that radial hypoplasia can be consistent with a polydactyl cat, meaning that the radius or the bone stabilizing the front legs may not be as strong or stable in polydactyls. It's kind of debatable, but that'd be one of the one things with the claw issue they should watch out for with a polydactyl. If you ever feel like you have a problem, x-raying those legs can help you differentiate between a claw, a foot, or a radial problem. As always guys, my name is Dan, I'm a veterinarian. Thanks so much for watching. I really appreciate it. You guys take care. Bye.